Hello, this is YC and welcome to my channel today. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a beer bread. But first I would like to share with you what my family got me for Mother's Day yesterday. Uh, my boys got me a card and you know how it is right now where no one can go anywhere. Uh, so they got me this card that said, didn't know what to get you for Mother's Day. How does a Caribbean or a Caribbean vacation sound? And when you open it up, see? And you have to dance with it, right? <laughs> it's so cute, I just love it. My dog always thinks I'm crazy. It is just adorable. I love it. I play it all the time. I think I think I'm gonna keep on playing it all year just to drive them crazy. <laughs> it's just cute. And then um, my husband he got me some roses. See how beautiful they are. And this is um, he told me that he got everything. Everything was separate in the store when he got there. It's like the, the stuff was in packages and packs and the little pack of stuff that you pour in the water and everything. And you have to do uh, the arrangement yourself. And he did a really good job. I think it's just beautiful with the baby's breath and all the different color roses. And um, he said last night, he said that he didn't know he had a knack for putting flower arrangements together. And, you know, of course, I had to build on that. I had to say, well, uh, it's nice to know if your army job or your welding job didn't come through, you could be a flower arranger. <laughs> he says, I knew I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you know, I have to tease them. But they're beautiful. I just love them. They smell, they smell good. They're really fragrant, too. They're just beautiful. But he did. He did a good job. I'm not good at flower arranging at all. I have, um... Uh, a sister-in-law that's awesome at it. She used to have her own uh, flower shop and everything. I can't, I can't arrange anything. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's get started on making a beer bread. And if you've never made a beer bread before, they're really good and they're simple because uh, the can of beer that you use takes care of everything so you don't have to mess with yeast and waiting for it to rise or anything like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, and, and like I always do, um, if you're on my channel, you know that I always put the recipe in the description down below, so you won't have to, you know, memorize this or anything like that. Okay, so um, we're going to start off with, um, uh, let's see, we will start off with, let's go ahead and do our dry ingredients first. We're going to do 13 and a half ounces of flour, which is roughly three cups of flour. And you know, you, you want to make sure you it's airy and you sift through it before you measure out your three cups. So three cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. And then uh, you want two teaspoons of... baking powder and I am going to get a, a measuring spoon that's the only thing I think I forgot to put out here hang on one second okay so we want two teaspoons there's one and there's two okay and then we want a teaspoon of salt. Let me see. Is it a whole teaspoon? Yeah. I, don't, I haven't made this in a long time, but I like it, and I know I, you know, that it, it, oh, it makes the house smell so good. Okay, there we go. That's enough right there. If I made it as often as I do biscuits, I wouldn't even have to look at the recipe. Okay. Um, now. We'll go ahead and um, add in all our other ingredients. And if you can't have hot and spicy foods, you can leave the jalapenos out. But I put in what you can add in whatever you want, by the way. But I add in a couple tablespoons of uh, chopped jalapeno slices and also 
um, half of a small onion. This is a yellow onion that I chopped up. this cutting board here. Okay, and then I'm going to put in, this is shredded sharp cheddar cheese. So, uh, some people who make beer bread, I notice they like to use Monterey. Whatever kind you have on hand, we like sharp cheddar. And this is uh, four ounces, which is like half of a regular brick of cheese. And if you've ever had cheese bread, you know it goes really good, it's, it's delicious. And let's see, we're going to need a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, like that. And this is, this is just the extra light. Uh, okay. And then we're going to want to put in um, so a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'll take the thing off here. Okay. And then um, we also need, if I'm not mistaken, we need three tablespoons of sugar. There's one, two, and three. Okay. Let's see if I can get that back on. Put this away. Got some cheese. Okay, and we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, minced garlic in this too. So, uh, hang on one second. One of these days I'll check my list before I get to the counter. Okay, um, and we need, it's one minced clove. Okay, and so you're just estimating a, a, a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm not sure what it is. This is a squeezed garlic. By Spice World. So I'm just going to put in what I think, you know, that we like. If I can get it out. Oops, there it comes. That's good. That's actually probably more, but we are garlic people. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here's my screen. I'll go ahead and use this. So I'm going to go down the list. Um, we have... We have olive oil, ye uh, yellow onion, black pepper, minced garlic, flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, sharp cheddar cheese, and oh, we can't forget the star of the show, the beer. And if you don't drink beer, that's okay. Just go, you know, when you go in the grocery store, you can just buy one, you know, at the top of where they sell beer. They just have individual cans, you know. Um, and you want to use a, a lager, like a Budweiser. Today, I'm using uh, Yangling, which is uh, made in Pennsylvania. And you're supposed to use about 12 ounces. And so. And this will take care of, you know, the bread rising and all of that and the flavor and everything. It smells really good. And you know, whenever you cook or bake or, or saute with anything, well, alcohol, I mean, the alcohol cooks off of it. You know that. You can add in what you like and omit, you know, what you don't like. Like, we happen to like jalapenos, but you don't have to put them if you don't want to. This smells really good like this, and I didn't even start her baking yet. So when we get all this mixed, we're going to put it in this pan. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. This is kind of a no-stick uh, pan, but I spray it anyway. This is just a regular loaf pan, and um, I'm using doesn't really matter which one you choose in the store, but this is just a vegetable oil spray. And uh, just lightly, you know. That's it.
that's all you need. Okay. Oh, I, I wish that um, we had smell a video that you could smell this right now. It smells amazing. And I thought you might want to give this a try because it's super easy. And tonight I'm making uh, ziti. And so instead of having, um, you know, individual like little garlic toasts and that, we're just going to have this and slice this up to go with our meal. And that's it. I mean, that's simple. How easy can you get? And what I do is I bake it in here at 375 for 35 minutes. And then I put some butter on top and I bake it for another 25 minutes. So it's 55 minutes total baking time, which you know for breads, that's normal. Um, but it couldn't be more easy. So, you know, I hope that you, uh, Give it a try. Okay. I don't always put the onion. This time I did, just to have a little, you know, different texture and flavor in there. Um, sometimes I just use onion powder. And um, I actually have dehydrated onion too, but I thought, well, let's just, if we have the real thing in the house, let's just chop up, you know, the real thing. Not that dehydrated is not real. I'm just saying how, you know, quick it can bake up is from one to the other. Anyway. Oh, there we go. And that's it. So... This is what it looks like, okay, like that. And um, I'm going to, I'm gonna use my toaster oven today, not the big oven because I don't wanna heat the house up because uh, the sun is out in South Carolina. And you know how hot it gets here. So I am going to use the toaster oven and I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. So I'll see you after. Hi, this is YC, I'm back and the beer bread is out of the oven. And I've already cooled it a little bit. I have to cool it a lot more before I cut more because it is a little delicate. But you can, it smells so good. And you can see on the inside, the cheese and the green jalapenos. And some of the, you can't, you might have a hard time seeing on camera, but there's onion and everything in there. It turned out fantastic. And, um. I browned it, you know, with a couple tablespoons of butter on the top. And you always want to make sure when you, after you cool it, you cut it. And you always use a serrated knife. Don't just, you know, it's going to be hard with a, with a flat, a straight knife. Just always use serrated uh, to cut breads. But um, you see what this looks like. You can see the green jalapenos and all the cheese. And I'm going to tell you. <laughs> This is going to be delicious. There is no doubt about this. And I'm going to cut this up and we can have this with our ziti tonight. And I hope that you give it a try. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.